Hi there learners and welcome to our video today where we are looking at phase two of your pet. Now, please remember there are a number of things happening here. In phase two, your task one is where we're looking at the word processing. So there's 25 marks up for grabs and then your spreadsheet, 25 marks, database, 25 marks. And if you're using a third package, please remember, if you are using a third package, what's going to happen is we're going to take the top two marks of the three packages. So just to explain that, if you've created a spreadsheet, database and a presentation, then we take the top two marks out of the three. OK, so if you're getting 25 for that and 20 for that and 15 for database, then we'll only take the top two. Right. And then task two deals with the final presentation, and that's for 25 marks as well. So let's just go through this rubric and just see what we need to do. That is phase one, task one. That's task two. And that's the total for phase one. OK, so this was phase two. And there we can see we've got our final report. And all of this that's here pertains to our report. So looking at the report, the layout, the, the body, the conclusion, the self-evaluation, when it was handed in, all of that. And you'll see there, it's out of 35, but it's converted to a mark out of 25. That's our first 25 marks. Then we get further marks for Word, right? Looking at the layout and formatting. Now, we, now we're going to a bit more detail. What sort of tables have you used? Have you made use of columns? Have you and, and, and please, for all of these, you need to provide evidence. So if you're going to be taking screenshots to show that you have done these things, um, that you've used clip art, headers and footers, um, more word processing techniques, and all of that, just to show the level at which you were using Word, you get another 25 marks. So you'll have to provide screenshots of all these things. Okay. Then they go on and there's obviously marks for the spreadsheet, like I said to you, the design of it, the contents, um, you know, the formulas you've used, intermediate formulas, advanced formulas. So the more you do and the more you plow into this, the more marks you can get, right? This is not saying you must create a new spreadsheet, but on the existing one that many of you created in phase one. Um, database, the tables, etc. So you can yeah, just... Just go through that and then the presentation, the layout, the graphics, all of these type of things. Okay. Obviously for your presentation, if you are doing that in your database, these are files that you will be creating from scratch. Okay. And you take the data that you've obviously gathered in your research so far to um, populate that. So let me give you an example. And it's... Let's see what I've got here from the samples. Um, let me take a sample from a few years back. And then we can come closer. All right. So this was phase two from a particular learner. And you can see there they've done the word processing. They've answered all those questions. Remember, it was a little bit different back then. Okay. So this is what was expected of them. In phase two. So let's see from last year what was actually required. Okay, so in phase two, you had to answer all of those questions. You were putting your final report together. Sorry, so it'll actually be in that sample, it'll be phase three. So this is what this learner kicked up or phase three for the final report. They put this whole thing together, table of contents, put all the information that they had gathered together. Uh, this particular learner actually turned it into a booklet. So showing you all the different options, what's available. Um, in this case, it was this particular spa trip, what's going to be done. And this is all based on obviously the data that she extracted from um, the questionnaire that she had, etc. So I'm not saying you have to do this, but yeah, that was a pretty good example. Let's just go on to one from last year. I just want to show you this. 
Um, let's go with a report. Right. So this is a report. This is what the learner had done. And remember now with the report, you've got to have obviously a cover page, table of contents. Um, the introduction, because now you're putting everything together. This is the culmination of everything. Putting together what you were researching, what you were looking at, what you did in phase one and two as well, right? Um, what for, uh, what programs you were using. So this is exactly what they were saying in the assessment tools. They were talking about, let's just go back to Word. Sorry, I'm going to chop and change between things here. Um, the layout and formatting, the design of the tables, use of columns. If we look here, you can see every time the learner's done something, they've taken a screenshot, they've put in a comment to show that they've done this. They've center aligned, they've justified paragraphs, spelling checks, changed the font size, page numbering the use of tab stops, okay, the design and use of tables. So this learner went the route of actually creating headings for these things and providing proof as to what they've done. So there's all the evidence going all the way through. Um, they did the same, I think for Excel, yes. Yes, for Excel, showing what they did. There's the formulas, charts, access, same story and for PowerPoint as well. Okay, so you can see in, and please, this is phase three from last year, but it's now phase two this year. Um, there's the evaluation, there's the conclusion, and then a reference list as well. And that was the end of that document, right? So, you can also see the same learner put a PowerPoint presentation together, just compiling all of that information. They also created a spreadsheet, different tabs. So guys, this is what <laughs> you are going to be, if you really want good marks for this, this is what you are going to be um, expected to do. Let me just use another example so I can show you. Um, here's another one. And you can see again, you know, table of contents, everything from the introduction, um, going through the questions. This learner does things a little bit differently. Um, again, there's all the screenshots showing exactly what they did in the various packages. So this is what is expected of you when it comes to this section over here, this one, because you're going to get marks on your layout and formatting, the design of tables, the use of columns, um, word processing documents, features, advanced features, etc. Um, did you do a mail merge? Have you done a paste special, a paste link, importing and exporting? Right, All of these things is what you are going to be getting marks on. Um, the same will then be true for spreadsheets, the design of your spreadsheet, the contents, basic formulas, intermediate, advanced formulas. Do you have multiple sheets? Um, have you integrated that with other programs and the same for whether you're using database, PowerPoint, whatever the case may be. So this is basically what is required of you uh, when it comes to phase two and that's task one and two because I'm just putting everything together because last year that would have been your phase three and there you can see I'm just showing you example after example and if you look at what the learner had here, you can see in their phase three, they've got a spreadsheet, PowerPoint presentation, database, mail merge, the final report, all of those things um, in phase three, phase one and two, obviously that is now just the phase one. So yes, folks, that is 
it and that should help you or that should at least give you a little bit of a picture or a decent picture at least of what you should be producing by the end of phase two spat remember you are now after doing all the research putting all of that information together summarizing it so that we can get to a conclusion in terms of what you were researching in the first place